Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for June 5th, 2025. So the keys for today are to allow yourself to do the work and build a foundation to support your long-term optimism, growth, and connections. And while the skies are really beautiful today, uh, we do have in the background a, a building tension with Saturn. So if it is hard for you today to realize what is good in your life or to get through things, uh, the next couple of days, and quite frankly, this whole time Jupiter is in Gemini, is going to be a really good time to start building networks of connection that support you, not just through the easy things, but also through the hard things. So don't hesitate to reach out for help. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot over the next year. Um, but I say that today because we do have the moon in Gemini. The moon in Gemini is all about communication, brothers and sisters, your community, uh, the details of things. And when the moon is in Gemini, like we see all the little parts, but necessary, not necessarily how to put them all together. But thankfully, we have a conjunction to Jupiter that does help you see both the parts in the whole. But we do have a semi-square with Chiron in the North Node, which means you might not see exactly how to put those things together. And that's where the frustration can come in. And so that's why I really strongly suggest reaching out to help for help so that you don't feel like you're doing everything on your own because you're not. Um, and even if the people in your immediate circle aren't supporting you, reach out and find people who do. That also might be a very good sign that it's time to change who you're associating with. Um, or just be honest with the people who are close to you. You know, have the hard conversations. Don't necessarily just walk away. Like, challenge yourself to express what you're really feeling and thinking. Especially when we do have that moon conjunct both Mercury and Jupiter today. You do want to talk. You do want to work things out. And it's okay if you don't know the exact words. You're able to learn them. Especially with the trying to Pluto retrograde. That if you do do the work to process your subconscious. If you do do the work to find out what's underneath the surface. If you do do the work... Uh, to find what is hidden, uh, not just the bad things that are hidden, but also the valuable things and the good things that are hidden inside of you, there'll be more of a balance. Definitely with all of this mutable energy in the air, do work for balance, you know. Uh, we do have a sextile to Neptune, which does help us dream. It helps us connect to institutions. It helps us to bring form to the things that are ending in our life. Um, and that's a good thing, right? It's Neptune and Pisces. It's at home. It does want to dream. It is very magical. So just make sure you're tapping into the vein of growth, healing, and not the other side of the coin. And I think this is a really good time to mention that we have a Gemini stellium, right? We have the sun, the moon, Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus in Gemini. And while the moon will still, you know, eventually move out in a couple of days after the new moon tomorrow... Uh, there is still very much this energy of, like, working it out, talking it out, connecting to people. Uh, the world is wide and the world is big. And just because you don't know the people who are going to love you yet, it's emphasis on the yet, you will eventually. You just have to keep going. Um, and don't be afraid of the structure. Don't be afraid of the hard things. Don't be afraid of the work because that work is what makes you strong enough to maintain and be a good steward of all that the universe has given you. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.